Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode where I play the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus and try and get my Eden Streaks going on. We got four so far. Let's go for number five. What items do we have this time? We have Monstro's Lung, which is really slow, and uh, the D8, and an unknown amount of health, which is always scary. I could get hit once and that could be the end of this run. Um, well, now we got more health, but it's not full. So it still could be one hit and we're done. And this charge rate is so slow. I'm so scared. Um, the D8. The D8. Reroll stats. So we actually might want to use this. There. That's, well. All right. So we got a much far charger. F much faster charge now uh, which is kind of what I was looking for but it took our damage down quite a bit so I don't know we might use it again next time it comes up but if we get an even worse tier rate than what we had to begin with it's gonna be really bad we're still alive um, I shouldn't have gotten hit there should we well so I think I'm not gonna reroll right now because I think with monstros lung that this damage is going to be able to carry us through the first couple floors. I don't want to risk getting a bad tier rate again. Um, I think that because we had a bad tier rate as our random stat, that if we reroll it, it's not. It's going to be based off of what that starting stat was, I think. So I don't want to get something worse than what we already started with. Oh, please. That's better. Alright, now we're a little more comfortable. We know we have at least one full red heart. Who do we got? We're going to get a spirit heart out of this since he's the blue version. That's good. And we're going to get either a cube of meter or a ball of bandages. So if we do mm, re-roll our stats and end up getting a lower tier rate, we at least could do a little damage with that. Uh, I'd like to open those chests, but no bombs, unfortunately. So what do we got? Oh, we're in good shape on health. Um, still considering re-rolling those stats. Want to keep going until we get good damage and good tiers. Nah. But I don't know if that's going to happen very easily for us. Oh. I do love the charge bar that they added uh, in the first mod update. Yeah, the first booster pack. I definitely leave it on because, especially in situations like this where you have a really bad tier rate, you want to be firing as quick as you can, but not too early. So it gives you a nice indication of when to let go. So the compound fracture, we just uh, get bones. I don't. I think they do concussive damage, maybe. Again, it's one of those new items that I haven't experienced a whole lot. It looks really cool with Monster as long. Oops, whiffed on that. I think we'll. Uh, Oh, and they split apart like uh, Cricket's body, looks like. Ooh. I think we're going to go ahead and fight the boss before getting through the rest of the floor. I think we're not going to reroll quite yet. Ooh. Almost didn't make that. Our speed is slow. Oh, wow. What do we got? Alrighty, I'm liking it. So we're going to take both of these, but we're going to play away our hearts on this guy here first. Get two plays out of every touch. Alright, that's actually good because we're going to get low on health here. 
I was gonna put us in a dangerous situation, but that just made it a little bit easier. Should we re-roll again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna pick up that key, don't worry. I know it's there. Just gonna wait till I actually walk by it. Ooh. Tinted rock there. See if we can get a key out of one of these rooms. Yeah, we'll take that. I mean, we don't have any other trinket. And we're gonna clear the rest of this floor. Yeah, let's do it. Blood bag. That's good. We need the speed and we need the health. I mean, you always need speed and health, but in this situation, we really need it. But we are one-shotting a lot of these low-level bosses. So I'm not sure how much I want to reroll with the D8 because I don't want to put us in a worse situation, you know? Hmm. If we get health out of this room, we're definitely going in the curse room. If we don't, we're maybe going to the curse room anyway. Too many advantages to be had. Oh, really? I'm gonna... Before we go... Nah. Let's just do it. Wow. This, uh... Oh, there we go. It did work out. Worked out perfectly. We're gonna swing by the shop. Either get a bomb or a spirit heart. I think I prefer a bomb because those tinted rocks could possibly give us two spirit hearts or a small rock or... Well, I won't be buying a spirit heart, obviously. I'll still have charging problems, even with the bar. There we go, but we got our lucky pennies. We're gonna take this bomb, so we got two bombs. So we'll go hit two spirit rocks. Spirit rocks. Tinted rocks. I know what they are. I'm calling them spirit rocks because I expect spirit rock spirit hearts inside. There's one. Let's go get another. Small rock would be good too. Um, we could afford the speed down, I think. I mean we're at average speed, so it would put us at like .94. Oh. I mean that's pretty much small rock without the speed down, so I'll take it. Let's get out of here, go down to the next floor. Can't get to that key. Oh, there was another tinted rock. I could shoot all these fires in the room, but... Nah. I think we'll be alright. XL floor. Ooh. I got them both with that barrel. Lemon. Lemon party. Do we want the left hand? I mean, the creepy bombs don't really do anything for us, so it's... Do we want to get red chests? And I think the answer is yes. Because we have one guppy item already. This is... Not an easy room. Do we have s separate charge times on the incubus? It was weird that they weren't synced up. I would think they would always be the same. So we can get a spirit heart there if we get a bomb. If we quit getting hit and don't die. No, I don't think we'll die soon. Maybe later. I was check checking today before this episode on my stat screen to see what my longest streak actually was. I've never really tried real hard for streaks before, but my longest one on this uh, this file is 17. So, I think we can beat that. Um, like I said, I've never really officially tried to see the biggest streak I could get, so. Maybe this will be it. Just keep our distance from these guys so we don't 
accidentally get blowed up. I'm gonna be all over the place on this XL floor. We gotta find two item rooms. Definitely doing some good damage. Let's see what we got to offer here. Steam sale. Definitely going to be picking up that. And hopefully we can come back and get the sack boy as well. Perfect. We'll come back for you, sack boy. I don't know which direction to go. I need to make sure I'm fully charged before I enter a room so I can send that first barrage right away. Should be our secret room. Is. We'll just take our sack. We can get this spirit heart now. Black heart, demon heart, whatever you want to call it. Sin heart, evil heart. Heard it called five different things. But we're gonna do it. Not worth. But the chance to become guppy is too good to resist. A guppy, cr guppy transformation can win you a run. I think. These guys can't hurt us. Whoops. Too early there. The floor is just covered in our bones. Alright. We'll go to the other side of this floor and see if we can't find our item rooms. What's the arcade machine up there? I forgot. I just want to take a peek real quick. Oh, it's the dressing table. I'm going to blow it up. Get some pills, maybe. Yep. Tears up. That changed our tier delay by quite a bit, numerically. Yeah, it's a lot faster. So, we could use the D8 still. And maybe hope for some... Wow, you're fast. Hope for some more damage. But I'm kind of scared. I don't want to brick the run, you know. I mean, like a lot of items in Isaac, it uh, has its positives and negatives. Wow, nothing on this side of the floor. Okay. has its positives and negatives, and you got to take the, take the bad with the good. I think we're just going to stay away from it because we're in a good spot right now. So we got our HP up and then what's the other effect we get? Uh, has like the Maggie's bow effect. There we go. Golden teleporter. Where red hearts, a red heart will heal two red hearts instead of one and a half heart will heal a whole heart. I think that's the other effect. The way we're going to use teleporter is we're going to full clear the floor, hopefully hit both of our secret rooms, and after that it will send us to the deal with the devil, and then after that, if we are able to use it again through battery chargers that we left laying around, it's going to take us to the air room. Air room can get us some nice items so that something to do with angel rooms I think it makes angel rooms guarantee an item or something not entirely sure we're not going to angel room so it doesn't matter yeah. 
So after we clear the boss, we've cleared the floor except for the second secret room, because I have no idea where it is, nor do I have a bomb. So this should take us to the second secret room. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Forgot about the other boss! I don't remember how many battery charges we left laying around. Hopefully a couple. Because... We're not guaranteed a deal here. We did get a deal. Alright, so let's take the HP and then trade it away. Monster's Long Mom's Knife. Don't know how it works. Okay. I think we made our run worse. Well, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, looks like we got two batteries over here. What was in here still? Oh, yeah. Actually, I wonder if we can get some more damage. Nope. That was bad. Alright. We're gonna... Reroll again. Which way did I come in through? We came in through the right side. So we're gonna reroll again. That's what I was looking for. Hey, we kept the high tier rate. And now we have damage. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use the golden teleporter on this floor. Not touching the D8 anymore. Get it out of my face. But on future floors, if we can properly clear... See, that golden teleport would have taken us to the second secret room. And then... Uh, we could have used the additional battery charges to go to... The error room and hopefully get some items out of that but I'm an idiot so that didn't happen okay we didn't make our run worse everything is just fine I guess just so when we have a full charge on the knife we just shoot knives in random directions which you know works for me I don't even need to shoot my knife there just run right into it With these guys, this room, you want to try and break the bigger pieces over over the pit. Or the, sm the smaller pieces. The smaller pieces, you try and break them over the pit, and then the spiders don't spawn. Didn't work out too well, but I think we got a couple of them like that. Stay away. Gotta kind of just stay away from all of them because I don't know which direction these random knives are going. Bombs have been in short supply this run. That's okay. We've been doing all right. Where's our guppy items? I always check out these small rooms. A lot of times they have some good stuff for you. I think they're some of the more interesting rooms in the game. I mean, I think with when Afterbirth came out, these small rooms appeared. Again, I forget which updates came with which DLCs and patches and whatnot. But usually a lot of good stuff to be found in those small rooms. Sometimes they're just garbage or just, you know... I don't know, they're almost like curse rooms. I mean, it's either nothing or it's great, so. Like the one that's just full of tentacles, like that doesn't... I don't know. They're always interesting, I think. Let's go ahead and check out the shop. I mean, we're gonna... We weren't able to get Sackboy on the last floor. Well, hopefully this should help our bomb situation. Could trade a key for a key. I mean, it's technically worth it because sometimes when you open a key, when you open a lock like that, you get an item. Latch key. So we got Spirit Heart, 
two keys and a luck upgrade. Haven't come across any batteries yet. We still want to full clear the floor. If nothing else, our golden teleporter will just get us into the secret room. Stabby stab. What do we got? Milk. So... Isn't this... This is just like holy water. Like, it's just useless. You get hit and it spills. And... whoop de doo yeah, enemies can walk over and take damage, but I mean, it's not something you can rely on. All right, let's full clear, then use our teleporter. Oops! Oh, we get a we get a tears upgrade when it spills, because you're crying over spilt milk. Get it? All right. So now we got bombs, so let's try and find our regular secret room. I think it'll be down. Nope. So maybe it'll be in this square here. Nope. Hmm. Might be north of here. There we go. Can't do anything in here. And then our golden teleporter will take us to the second secret room, which doesn't do anything for us either. Alright, next floor. Golden teleporter hasn't worked out for us, but that's partially my fault. Can we reach him? Yep. Yeah, we'll just pop this right away just so we have some bombs. And then waste one right away. And by waste, I mean... Use for a good reason. See? I knew exactly what I was doing. So we have Curse of the uh, Unknown. Don't know our health. But we have lots of Spirit Hearts and now we have a Red Heart too. Red Heart 2. I think we'll be alright. I'm not worried about dying on this floor. Not worried about dying for a while. Oh, guppy items. I mean, guppy items and mom's knife. I mean, the guppy transformation of mom's knife isn't that great. But maybe with the monstro's lung, we'll get some more flies out of it. Well, we only have one red heart, so we can't really play this guy. Two plays won't make him pay out. When you're on hard mode, both with the uh, demon judgments and the regular judgments. Takes about six six plays for them to get give their first uh, random payout of consumables or items or whatever, so one play, well two plays. You can get two plays out of a half a heart. But that won't get you anything, because it takes six. Oh. Lonely little spirit heart. I'll take you with me. I think that's our secret room to the left there. Alright, we don't want Headless Baby. It doesn't really do a lot for us actively. Little Monstro. Could be good for us, I mean, because we're already charging with the knife. But I'd like to get something better. We're going to check the shop just to knock it off the golden teleporter list. No battery in there, let's remember that. There was that one battery behind the spikes that we can't get to, but we might just take the damage to get to it if it's going to bring us to the air room. There's another battery. Great. Gonna do it right this time. Except we can't get our secret rooms. Not gonna take that one. Curse of the Tower. Bombs every time we get hit. Like troll bombs. There we go. 
All right, so let's check this one that I thought was the secret room. See if my instincts were right. Would have been right here. Yep. All right, run. And then our second secret room, most likely close to the boss, usually is. If not, I think we still have enough charges. I think it'll be on either side of this room. Ah, I should have gone up. Ah, it's probably up. This is probably the lowest the map can go. Bad placement. Oh! Yeah, it's mom. I forgot. That's okay, though. We're gonna take the Polaroid, go to the chest. We're gonna take Dark Bum. We're not going to take the nail. It would be a decent pickup for us, but I want to uh, stick with the golden teleporter. That is what we are looking for. All right. Two out of three, Guppy. And then if we pick up another battery charge, we should go to the air room. And get Guppy? Nope. But we get a rainbow buddy. And some spirit hearts. So we are going to be cruising right along now. Curse of the Lost. Unfortunately, I don't think the golden teleporter is going to work out for us because I don't like to full clear floors, especially these larger floors on Curse of the Lost. It just becomes too tedious. Let's check the sack, though. Now, I don't remember. Does it just take you to regular rooms? Yeah, it just takes you to regular rooms. If you don't have all the regular rooms cleared, it just takes you to a normal room. Now I have no idea where I am. That's okay. We're just going to keep going until we hit dead ends or the boss. Oh. It's actually a good floor to get that on because we probably won't get a deal with the devil. And now we're guppy. So now that we're guppy, we are going to get rid of the left hand. And I think we might keep guppy's head. Just for the uh, extra damage that we get from our flies. Yeah. Golden teleporter, we had a good experiment going on, but... We're going to stick with guppy's head. And now I have no idea where I'm going. Did it take us back to the beginning of the map? No, it didn't. What's in here? Nope. <clears throat> Gonna build up a nice little fly army because we should be able to mow, every mow over everything with our knife. And I don't remember what the golden horseshoe does. Feeling lucky, I... It's embarrassing that I can't remember these things. We'll check out this curse room. Obviously, we're not looking for guppy items anymore, but we're looking for range upgrades. And we're looking for horf pills. Want to play you, but can't. Wow. Was there? I guess there was a tinted rock behind there. I don't think the golden horseshoe does anything for us. <clears throat> I think it's, I don't remember. <laughs> I'll have to look it up after this, after this run because I don't remember what it does. All I know is just one of those trinkets that I just know like why I even pick it up. For the most part, I'm sure there's 
There is definitely some case in where it's useful, but for the most part, a lot of other trinkets are better. Kind of forgot we had Dark Bum. I don't know if we've been letting him pick up all the red hearts around, but we're in pretty good shape, so. Like, you can get those. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Leave some spirit hearts on the ground for us in case we need them. Don't think we will. We're pretty much just walking into rooms and winning. More flies, more flies. I know there's a spirit heart on the ground back there, but I think there will be plenty more in our future. The rest of this run is just a formality, basically. Unless something very strange happens. Like me taking damage over and over. Um. Oh, we already saw this deal. This was the uh, Krampus, right? Yeah. I'm not going to take the health. I'd like to just trade this last health away on a deal with the devil on this floor, hopefully. But we have a low chance of getting one. Let's make us tiny. Our knife is bigger than us now. Want to trade away that last red heart so that every time we get hit, we get invincibility. And... Dark Bum should keep us pretty stacked on uh, spirit hearts, so... Oh, I was hoping there'd be some red hearts there to feed, feed our bum. But alas. Nothing doing. Wish I had some mapping so I could just make this go a bit quicker. But, even if we go the wrong direction, shouldn't take us too long to clear everything. I will always play this room if I have the keys. That's the butter trinket. The butter trinket has its uses. Like, well, I can't show you right now, but... It'll make you drop your active item onto a pedestal, randomly, when you use it. Which sounds like, why would you ever need that? Well, it's actually really useful if you're... Hmm, that's bad. Hence the name. Uh, really useful if you're breaking the game, uh, because you can move items to different rooms. So if you're re-rolling, hey, now we're four-thirds guppy. If you're re-rolling items, but you don't want to re-roll a specific item, you can take it to another room, use it, which makes it drop onto a pedestal. Because normally there's no other way to drop your active item, only replace it. But we're not looking to break the game right now. Not today. So it would just become annoying to us. Especially when we're using a one room charge item, like Guppy said. Because we drop it in every single room and have to pick it back up. I will take the walnut. So this one... I get it confused with the, with the cork. Because I think it's like... On one of them, when you take damage, it has a random chance to break. 
and give you something. And then I don't know what the other one does. But we'll take it, because, like I said, the horseshoe, I don't think, does anything immediately useful for us. Make quick work of mom. We did get a deal. Can I trade this away? All right, we'll take Gimpy. We could play this guy with our invincibility a little bit. See if we can't get him to pay out with like ceremonial robes would be great. Whoops. Bottle of pills. Not what I was looking for. All right, that's fine. Still have six, five and a half spirit hearts. Yeah, five and a half. Shouldn't be a problem, along with, you know, whatever we get Dark Bum to pay out with. Plus this here. There's one more. Is that our our damage is set for the run. Wow, that's a new room, too. <clears throat> but our... We just gotta watch our health. Especially because I'm kind of playing fast and loose with... Oh, that was a spike chest. I was wondering how I took damage. I didn't think I hit the machine. Been playing fast and loose with the knives. Getting up close and personal. Taking damage that I don't need to take. Like that. Yeah, that was the walnut. Cracking. We got duct tape. That yeah, changes the familiars right with us, which actually I think is good with the knife. Well, I mean with uh Incubus and the knife. So he's shooting the knife. I left my guppy's head. I'm an idiot. Range up. That's okay. Since our Incubus has a knife, he'll be shooting it right along with us. In the exact same spot. So it's it's useful in this situation. The one I don't like is uh, King Baby. King Baby messes with my head. Because all the familiars... I don't know. When, when you start firing, they all stop. And behind him... I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm having a hard time... Hard time following myself now, because I'm so small and all my familiars are packed together. I think I'm at the front of the pack when I'm not. Like, yeah, right now I'm on the side. When I point this direction, I'm in the back. Gotta keep track of where I actually am. Here, Dark Bum. Okay. No payout, that's fine. Pays out every one and a half red hearts, I just don't remember. Not keeping track of what I'm picking up. Pretty, Pretty fly. fly. All right. Again, playing a little loose with the health. I think the chest should be pretty quick. Hopefully we can improve ourselves a little bit here. Or not at all. We'll find a secret room. Yay. Additional familiar that can do some passive stuff for us. But not really affecting our run much. Okay. I gotta be a little more careful because I've just been kind of going in all willy nilly and starting to take a toll on my health. Thank you, Dark Bum.
Hopefully with the guppy's tail pickup, we should be getting some more chests. Our luck is not that great. With the uh, introduction of lucky pennies, a lot of times by the end of the game you can have close to 10 luck and just keep getting chests throughout the whole chest. Tears up took us over the cap. Why is that? What do we have that breaks the tear cap? Alright. <laughs> what a terrible, terrible room. I'm gonna try and kill him though because with Gimpy If one of them dies into red hearts, Dark Bum is going to have a feast. But, this is maybe a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Terrible idea. Uh, we'll see if one of these connects. Give us a little shortcut. There we go. Thank you, Gimpy. Yeah, so Gimpy has two effects. Uh, he can pay out with spirit hearts when you get hit. But he also makes enemies drop half red hearts upon death. So it's a good synergy with uh, Dark Bum. And like I was trying to do with the... Uh, the envies. Sometimes. And maybe it only works when you like insta kill him. But all. Because he breaks into so many tiny little heads. All those tiny little heads will end up dropping the half red heart. And if that would have happened, then we would have gotten a nice payout from Dark Bum. That would have gotten us in much better shape. But instead. I just took a lot of damage and made our situation worse. So good job. Thought I picked that up. But you see all these little red hearts? Like uh, Chubb there, he has three segments. So when he dies, you get three half red hearts from him. That's a touch. So we got a little, a little damage bonus there. We don't get the cool scythe effect because we have the knives. I think that's the best part of the death touch is the visual effect. I mean, obviously the damage and the piercing, but it's one of the reasons that I love it and I think a lot of people love it is because your tears just look so cool. More damage. Again, we don't get the visual effect or... Eh, we'll take it. Triple shot! <laughs> With Monstro's Lung. It's a lot of knives. Had a feeling that was coming. That room's kind of tough because... If they're both going for Brimstone, it's kind of hard to get in a safe safe place. I don't know where we're going to use... I guess we're just going to use the devil card for the uh, blue baby fight. What do these sad bombs look like? Just knives. One more for you. You jerk. I need the spirit hearts. All right, let's do it. Make quick work of him. And we did it. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Appreciate you being here. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content. And we will see you next time.